Since Neera Tandon withdrew her nomination to serve as the head of the Office of Management and Budget, and by the way, the White House accepted that, somehow Bernie Sanders is taking the heat. Now, remember, mm -hmm. it was Senator Joe Manchin who raised his hand and said, no, my fifis were hurt. Neera Tandon tweeted mean things, and so I do not support her. It's also worth noting that Neera Tandon was critical of Joe Manchin's daughter engaging in price gouging for EpiPens. I'm sure that didn't sit well with him either. But nonetheless, Manchin was really the one who took a lot of credit for ending the nomination of Neera Tandon. And honestly, I congratulate him for that. I think Neera Tannen was an awful nominee to head the Office of Management and Budget. But now we're hearing from all sorts of blue check marks on social media who think that Bernie Sanders is to blame. He's the bad guy. Let's start with our start with Tom Watson, one of my faves. Oh, He's a classic. failed failed Democratic consultant slash strategist, and he says. Neera Tandon was treated disgracefully by Joe Manchin, Bernie Sanders, and big political media. So now they've won their point, but we can all see them. Mm. What does that even mean? I don't know. Tom Watson is like one of the most pathetic human beings in yes, our politics. He's just like, because the thing is, like he wants to be what Neera Tandon, he wishes he was Neera Tandon, you know, but he tweets all day, you know, doing the dutiful attacks against the left on behalf of like the worst people in the world. And they give him nothing in return. Like he doesn't get nominated for anything. He doesn't become the president of the Center for American Progress. At least Neera Tandon was the president of the most powerful liberal think tank in Washington for a while. She didn't get the OMB job, but she's gonna get some job in the administration. Um, Tom Watson gets nothing. He just does it for free. Um, desperately yeah. trying to get their attention. He's like that nerd who's like desperately trying to get your attention by like ingratiating himself constantly. And you're just like, stop. It, you know, like I don't know. You know, like it's so. So yeah, I love love to see Tom Watson just kind of eat shit for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 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 awesome. Um, and look, I mean we've talked about Neera Tandon and why she was an awful nominee for this position so many times, and I feel bad repeating it if you've watched those videos. But just to be safe for anyone who doesn't know, for me, Neera Tandon was awful due to the fact that she was the president for the Center for American Progress and had all sorts of conflicts of interest. And as the head of the OMB, um, those conflicts of interest are in highly problematic because the OMB you know comes out with the analysis that the Senate makes its decisions on right like the $15 an hour minimum wage for instance they put out studies about how that would impact the federal budget and that really does have an impact on whether or not the legislation can pass under the bird rule which is a stupid arbitrary rule that can be overruled anyway Annoying stuff that we don't need to rehash now. But the point is, she had corruption issues. She had business clients that would influence some of her actions in this important position. So that's why I had a problem with it. Not not so much her tweets, but you know, the thing about Bernie Sanders is his politeness. Sometimes drives me crazy because it doesn't matter if he does the right thing, doesn't matter if he does the wrong thing, doesn't matter what Bernie Sanders does. He will be attacked by the Tom Watsons of the world no matter what. In fact, just this week, before Neera Tandon pulled her nomination, um, you know, Wolf Blitzer was trying to get Bernie to say that he would not vote to confirm Neera Tandon. Let, let's hear how that conversation went down. Very quickly, have you made up your mind on whether to confirm Neera Tandon? Well, right now, Neera Tandon does not have the votes, so we will see what happens in the future. Where, where do you stand? Well, I will make that decision when the vote takes place. I mean, it was it was a non-committal, you know, answer. Uh, but Manchin was the one who's like, "I will be the cop that stops this," right? So it's just it's amazing. Like, I want I want Bernie at this point in his political career to just be Bernie. Like, you're the you're the chair of the Senate Budget Committee. You're good. Be you. 
Like, don't be polite anymore. You don't have, I mean, it, but he's just a fundamentally nice guy. Like, that's the problem, I think. Well, I, <laughs> it's weird I to say that that's a nice problem. guy. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it comes from niceness or just a sense that it doesn't matter, you know, mm. that he recognizes that it doesn't matter. And that they'll, that no matter what he does, whether he's mean or nice, it's, it's not going to change anything in terms of like how they react to him. It's, it's more about what he represents and the kind of politics that he tries to push. It's a huge threat. So he understands that and he doesn't, I don't think he takes it personally. He sees it as like, oh, look at these, these people. They know not what they do. You know, I'm just going to continue fighting for regular people my whole life. And I'm going to dedicate my fight to that. I'm not going to jump in the fray because there's nothing to be gained from it. And there's, mm -hmm. and it's, it's just inevitable. Like nothing that I say will change their minds. And anyway, like that's when people are like, what if you just explain to them that this thing makes sense or it's good? That's not what it is. Like, you can't, Yeah. again, you, you can't get someone to understand something that they're paid to not understand. So um, I think Bernie understands that very deeply. I mean, he's got, he's been this, he's been in this game longer than anyone else. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just saying, like, he doesn't have to be polite to Nero Tandon. That's, I mean, like, that's the specific thing I'm thinking about because Nero Tandon has been and will continue to be vicious toward Bernie Sanders. And I get it. He wants to stay above the fray, and, and that is well, respectable. I, I sort like, I wouldn't I be know. able to. I don't know if Go it's, ahead. I mean, I think it is a little bit, um, it's a political calculation on his part in that, you know, he always kind of has to straddle that line of, of the inside out game, right? I mean, he does it quite well. You know, I think he does it better than almost anyone can. But like, of like maintaining kind of the street cred, because he—that's that's, that's mm -hmm. the source of his power. But also being able to, you know, horse trade here and there, a couple, you know, for a couple things. And I think he understands that in, within the Senate, that club, you know, which has helped him in some ways. You know, like you saw Senator Kennedy come out in defense of Bernie Sanders against Neera Tandon, right? <laughs> Senator Kennedy, who was an enemy, saying, you called Senator Bernie a senator of this chamber, an ignorant slut. And I don't think that's okay. I, I don't. I, I really don't think that that's right. You know, if he were a dirty, disgusting congressman, that would be something else. But he's a senator, so you can't do that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I mean, there is this obsession with decorum, right? So like they can snipe each other policy-wise or legislatively, but as long as they're doing it politely with decorum, it's okay. It's okay. It is kind of amazing. Uh, the Senate does have that culture. I like personally hate it, but I, I get that there's a political strategy behind it. And you're right. I mean, um, it is pretty miraculous that given uh, what Bernie Sanders represents and how it goes against all of the business interests in this country and all of the donors in this country and all of that. Like the fact that he's found himself in this powerful position within the United States Senate um, is an accomplishment. But like, I guess at this point, like you're in that position of power, like, you're gonna be good. Like, just do your thing. Be like, be you. And maybe this is him. Maybe I'm wrong about um, you know what's in his mind, but uh, Nira Tannen is garbage. And I just like I, I I guess I want like the personal satisfaction of uh, Bernie Let's being able to just unload on yeah, Nira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what yeah. has he got to lose? What has he got to lose? But anyway, um, and then there are other clowns who uh, try to make similar arguments, uh, like this guy who says it looks like Nira Tannen will be denied the Office of Management and Budget job for the same reason Hillary lost in 2016. What is what's up with the quotation marks? Hillary lost in 2016. Like no, it's that, not that's an that's an ironic tweet, by the way. That's Tim Faust. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's. Oh, it's a, that's a okay, joke. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. funny. Okay, never mind. So uh, Tim so Faust that's... is a Bernie supporter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's oh, just, got it, got he's it, just, got it. He's like he's parodying like a lib tweet. Got it. Okay, and then we have red state that's pretending like uh, it's all about socialist grandfather Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. No, like. Republicans were like crying about Neera Tandon's tweets as well. Neera, but anyway. Wait, wait, wait. I love that Neera Tandon got the Clemenza treatment at the, <laughs> you know, that's from the Godfather movie. Uh, but yeah, I guess because Clemenza was stabbed in the back by Tessio. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Good tweet, Red State. Well done. Good tweet. Good tweet. Very well done. You did a Very good job. Well. Excellent tweet. <laughs>
Very, very good, Godfather. I, you know, I like the second one better than the first one. I know people like the first one. Marlon Brando, excellent actor, very good actor, very good. <laughs> loved him, loved him as Emiliano Zapata in Viva Zapata. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.